Might not be the picture perfect end of senior year, but one East Tennessee mom is using her talents to give the students at her school something to smile about. Emily DeVoe shows us how she's paying it forward. It's the traditional part of senior year. Those senior portraits, the cap and gown, the face mask, the toilet paper. The pictures are anything but traditional, but they brought a sense of normalcy to a school year that's anything but normal. That they would all have a smile on their face. That's what Dallas Swaggerty was hoping to accomplish when she set out to photograph as many seniors as she could from the King's Academy in Seymour. I have a junior there, and so I've known a lot of them for a long time, and so my heart just went out to them, and I was like, what is something I can do to maybe put a smile on their face? And so... I started messaging a couple of them, messaging a couple moms that I knew and just kind of got the word out and told them to contact me and give me their address and I put in all their addresses. She drove from Seymour to Newport, stopping in front yards and driveways along the way. I thought the guys would be less likely to be the ones to do the fun stuff, but they were kind of the ones that were on board with it and were like, let's do this. This is what I got in mind. For many of the students, the days are spent inside taking online classes. Some missed their senior season, prom, or moving the tassel over to the left at graduation. I think as a class, we all really appreciate it because she doesn't even have like a daughter or a son in our class and she still decided to do it. And she's always on campus taking pictures and interacting with us. She's just, she's amazing. And like I told her, I don't think she'll ever understand how much we appreciate it. And while it's not the picture of senior year they envisioned, it's one they'll remember. I think this is kind of a way that later down the road, we can kind of have a good memory of this time and something to laugh about during it. Emily DeVoe, 10 News.